Hi everyone and welcome back to A Voice Coming Out. A Voice Coming Out is a channel that I use to kind of express my ideas <laughs> about the things that I'm learning and the things that I think make sense when we are thinking about people and humanity with a question. What are the things that make us healthy and happy and what are the things that make us sick? So today in this video I want to talk about something that I think um, can be taken as something controversial though I don't really see why like logically I don't really see why but let's say social culturally I do understand why and that is about how healing has to do with accepting the truth and training yourself to live in the light of that truth and as philosophical as that sounds and as dogmatic as that sounds do stick with me until the end of this video because I think you will be surprised and if you know, even if you don't, just let me know in the comments what are your views on these kind of things. So if you're new around this channel, my name is Julia Hartmeier. Um, I uh, work as a psychologist. I'm trained to be a psychotherapist. And I'm also a theologian. And by nature, kind of just love to think ideas through um, and to, I don't know, organize them into a way of life that makes sense. and just helps me and helps the people that I work with and the people that I am around um, to be more healthy. I am, I guess you would say, I am from nature on, but also generally um, a person who's really, really concerned with um, health in, a, in an emotional and spiritual way. So if you are um, either a Christian and interested in my take on mental health as a Christian and just ideas um, about God and how this world, world works, make sure you subscribe. Um, and if you're not a Christian, just interested to, in conversations uh, about these kind of topics, also make sure you subscribe. I am really, really happy if A Voice Coming Out is, uh, is a community for all of you who are interested to talk independ independently on how you see the world. So welcome and subscribe if you like these kind of things. Also, if you're the kind of person who likes to have notifications, hit the notification bell so that YouTube will send you a notification each time that, that I'm uploading a video. And if you don't like this, those kind of things, just listen to me. I am uploading every Saturday. So do how you feel. So let's jump into today's video. So here's the thing. As I am kind of <clears throat> going out from if you want to say it as I would a cliche from my com comfort zone and into reality and into what actually helps uh, people, including me, uh, to heal and to work through life's processes. Um, I'm realizing kind of um, a painful truth about uh, our specific today's cultural trap of denying that such a thing as truth exists. Uh, I know that was a mouthful now, but this is how I kind of see. I grew up with, uh, in a generation where uh, everybody would, around me um, who would be interested in ideas and interested in, in talking about how life works would be saying stuff kind of like there's, there, is no, not, not, there isn't such a thing as a truth. There is only your truth or my truth and her truth or his truth and so on. But there isn't such a thing as an objective, uh, real reality. Um, and I really took this as, as at face value for, for a time. And as you do with stuff that you believe in, like this idea, um, I started to live according to it. And then there came a point in my life where I realized that, um, wait a moment, uh, my truth was that if I am anxiously controlling my environment, then I will be able to do everything better for myself and for, for everybody else. And then I realized that these truths were destroying me. Uh, slowly corroding to my uh, my sense of self, my relationships, obviously, um, and and also making me even physically uh, sick. And then I realized, wait a moment. I thought because I'm a Christian person that whatever is true is going to set you free, as the Bible says. Now. I don't like to just take verses out of their context, but I am doing it in this in this situation because I'm actually not on top of the theological discussions of what this verse actually means. So I'm not trying to say this is what it means. But in my in this context, this is how I interpret it. 
the way I see this verse working out uh, is that it's kind of saying that if there is such a thing as a truth, then it needs to be something that will set you free, um, that will give you life, that will help you be healthy. So it's kind of like seeing a whole big philosophical movement being deconstructed because life doesn't work that way. And even later, as I am also working with patients, I realize that most of the stuff that is impacting the life of my patients are, are lies that they believe. And it's not lies that, that somebody told them, but somehow things that aren't true, uh, that they take to be true, and it makes them sick. It makes us sick. And the reason why this is so important for me beca is because I am worried about where we are going and how the how the things that we believe as society and as a you know global community as we are becoming more and more impacts our health and when i see people also on social media and just these posts of there isn't such a thing as a truth just go about your truth and when i see those kind of posts i think well how will someone who has a depression who's just is not able to feel any hope uh, will react to those kind of posts. You know, how will someone who is uh, anxious will follow their own truth into overly controlling um, behavior that in the end destroys you? Like, you know, take my word for it. <laughs> um, and I do get mad at these kind of things. And um, I guess the reason why I really want to use my my platform to talk about these kinds of things is that this is not just a matter of opinion. This is not just a matter of, uh, or oh, you're a Christian, so you need to say these kinds of things. But it's also a matter of like actual, real human lives being uh, crippled and destroyed by ideas. So the way I see it, newly, is like this: there is such a thing as truth. If you are overly anxious and your truth is that um, everything will fall apart at any moment um, then by any means it would be a very good thing for you to learn that reality is, is not accurately portrayed by your anxiety if you are overly if you are depressed if you feel like there is no hope for tomorrow then I do wish for you that you would set aside a little bit of yourself and say oh maybe i'm not right in my belief maybe i don't know the truth and however this will happen in your life um i know this is going to be hard because it is really hard it was really hard for me to kind of be confronted with realizing oh my god i thought that what i felt or what i thought was true so being confronted with Wait a minute, maybe it is not my brain that creates reality, maybe it's something else. Maybe reality exists outside of my brain and, and you know, my perception of it. Um, it's, it's a humbling moment and you have to have that, that personality virtue of, of being able to listen to something other than yourself, which I think is increasingly dif difficult in our, in our time. So you have to kind of accept that you might be wrong which is already a good step in the right direction. And you also have to kind of be open to train yourself, and this is the second part of the whole equation, into living according to the truth. The, the way our brain works is that it gets used to thinking a certain way, because the brain wants to be economic. So the way it does its job, its job is that it takes things that you already think and just repeats them so that they it doesn't have to do the whole work of like you know stopping and seeing new things and that's why healing has a lot of to do with receiving from some place outside of yourself a new sense of what the truth is and and also then it needs to kind of retrain itself it's like you need to kind of retrain yourself in the light of the truth um to be able to be healed and the reason why this is, for me, very a mind-blowing moment to realize is that this is the basic message of Christianity. And seeing how these things like work together, I cannot express my, my amazement at this. Um, the basic message of Christianity is that 
There is a god who loves you. Who is the lord of the universe. Um, so train yourself to live in the light of this truth and see how your life will become different. Uh, and I'm taking this truth every day to my own stress, for example, to my own anxiety, for example, and then ask, asking myself, how will I react to this situation if I live in the light of the truth that I am deeply and, and fully loved versus in the truth that I believe to be true is that you know, I, need, I need to control everything because if not, everything is uh, Who is really in control? So truth doesn't ma matter. In this huge overarching way, if we are talking about if there is a God, or if there isn't a God, or, or if there is one, how does uh, he, she, it look like? Um, and also on, on the smaller scale, scale of, yeah, if that's the case, how will you deal with that truth? So guys, it's an absolute honor for me to stand so, in front of this camera and just talking about these kind of things, knowing that you on the other side of the world through the internet can just, you know, receive what I'm saying. So thank you for giving me your time. Um, and if you have any kind of top thoughts on this topic, whether you agree with me or not, I invite you to um, to not just uh, to participate in a conversation in the comment section or in the community tab of this channel, on my Instagram, wherever we find ourselves in the virtual space. Um, thank you, thank you so much for listening to this video. And as always, take great care of yourselves and see you next time. Bye!